Hey guys, Matt here. I'm just putting together a quick video in regards to your social position. I'm just going to go through and give you some recommendations that I've got on your pages, as well as what you can expect when you come on board with me. Um, just to give you an idea of who I am, hi, this is me, Matt. Now you've got a face to put to the name and know who you're listening to and watching. Okay, so on with the recommendations. Um, first of all, loving the website. It's um, nice and bright. Um, full of trust colors so this is this is great to see one thing that I do recommend though is with the social buttons if I click on for example Facebook right um, it opens the Facebook page in the same tab in the same window so what I suggest is that you make all of these social buttons open up in new windows so that way when you have um, you know someone clicking across on these social buttons you're not losing the visit the visitor to your site which you know um, you've spent money to get there so I definitely recommend you have them opening up in, um, in new tabs. Cool. The other thing is um, I'd also suggest making these buttons um, a lot larger. So the shop now and shop apps, just make them at least three times larger, two or three times larger. Um, because again, you know, that's the main point is for them to shop and to um, spend money at your site. So you really got to make sure that that's a, a key focus and make it easy for people. Cool. So when I came across to your Facebook page. Um, it's great to see that you're utilizing the cover image properly and your profile image. Um, that's all well and good. One thing that I'd suggest straight away is adding your link um, in this short description box and just telling people to click there. So children learn more when they're having fun at LeapFrog. We're helping them build skills and a lifetime, uh, lifelong love of learning. And then instead of saying like us for the latest updates, I don't, I just say, you know, um, click here um, to learn more, right? Because they're already here and chances are the reason they got there was through an ad and they've already clicked and liked the page, you know what I mean? So um, typically I'd be putting the call to action like us with you know something here in the white and say like us with an arrow and you can point to that like button. Um, that's going to get more attention and here you can have another backlink to your site um, where people can come, and clock, come across and actually click on it. Cool. Um, so when looking at your cover images and stuff, Again, there's no description here, right? So what, what I'd suggest is putting in a description, you know, learn more about the LeapPad Ultra, um, click here. Because you've had 334 people like it, three shares and all this um, commenting and, and action on it, but you don't have a, you know, click here to learn more and, or click here to buy the LeapPad Ultra, right? So that kind of stuff is very important when, you know, you, you're posting these, these kinds of images. Every single image should have, you know, a, uh, a strong call to action, you know, get, be the first to get a leap pad ultra for your special one, you know, and put a link. Cool. Um, so again, when we're coming across here, um, this is great, um, with your links and stuff like that. But what I'd suggest is telling them click here, you know, telling them to actually click here using the words click or using the words like, you know, um, for, for these kinds of things, you know, like share your child's learning moments on our wall and don't forget to add a caption. See, with this sort of stuff, that's a very long and confusing call to action. I typically suggest just more, like just simpler ones. So share your child's learning moments on our wall. That's it, yeah? Um, and then below that, if you want in brackets, you can say, and share a caption. Or don't forget to share a caption. And also use positive language. So instead of saying, don't forget, let's say, and remember to add a call to action. Because that is gonna help them um, subconsciously uh, remember to add a call to action. What do I have to remember? Because if they're thinking about forget, 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 forget they forget. Um, cool. Do you have any simple tips to help your kids navigate social situations? What you need to put next is leave your answer in the comments below, right? Um, with one million followers, right, you should really be getting a whole lot more than just 164 likes and only five comments. I get five comments um, on some on some client pages that only have a thousand likes, right? So that's um, something that's very important is really just tell them what to do and be very clear and simple about it and straightforward because um, without it, it's, yeah, you, you're losing a lot. So um, here it's great to see that, you know, you're sharing um, people's photos that they've put on your wall and stuff. Um, I'd also suggest, you know, again, adding links um, if this is one of your products, then just saying, you know, get the writing pad that this, this, um, you know, 
that this busy bee is using here. Click here, yeah? Um, but yeah, that's, that's enough on, you know, just post sort of stuff. The other thing is, um, you know, if you've got tabs coming in here, really making sure that all of your tabs um, are well optimized. And, you know, if you can have light gates and stuff on it, like, for example, um, you know, you come in here, you send them, I'd be sending them to competition pages where instead of just having, um, you know, some information on where they can come and shop now, I'd also say, you know, like, um, win, have a, have a tab where they can win one of these leap pad ultras or they can win, you know, a whole year's worth of learning, um, equipment and then give runners up, you know, like, uh, 20% off elite pad ultra or whatever like that, just to engage, um, and to also promote more sales. Cool. As far as Twitter is concerned, um, this is looking good. Um, and it's great to see that you've got, um, people coming in and engaging with you and talking to you. This is really, really great to see. Um, one thing I would suggest is, you know, a lot of these leap pad ultras are hidden behind the main area here. What I would suggest is having like, you know, um, having it on the left hand side, having a larger image and also having, you know, um, go to this direct address to do whatever. And you can cloak addresses like, you know, like leappadultra.com, you know, and that, that way it's easy to understand, read and type in and they can go and do it and direct them straight from there. Um, but yeah, this is looking good. Um, I just, yeah, continue in this manner. Um, also using more hashtags would be a good idea for you guys. Um, but yeah, apart from that, you know, you're doing quite well. Um, hashtagging and, and really utilizing your lists properly, um, is another good option. Um, as far as your, as far as your YouTube is concerned, um, use the cover image here to really to send them to, you know, the, the targeted pages. So, you know, you've got lid, new leap pad ultra kid perfect tablet, right? And then you should have an arrow and a call to action, you know, like some text, um, be, be one of the first, make sure your child is the first to get it here or give your child the advantage here and then have an arrow leading towards the site. And you could have a site that's like leapfrog.com forward slash, um, ultra or whatever it is. Um, because again, you're, you've got this great advertising space here, but you're not using it properly. Cool. Uh, the other thing is, at the ends of your videos and stuff like that, I'd, I'd also suggest, you know, um, having, you know, a, a clickable link, a clickable annotation in the video. So, you know, you could have this whole, this thing here, like, buy the Leap Pad 2 here, buy the Leap Pad Ultra here, and, and make them clickable buttons right inside the video. Um, because again, you're missing a ton of traffic. If there's 2,700 and something views, then, you know, you should really be using, um, the, the annotations properly so they can come across and literally click inside the video and go and buy it. And I'll, I can guarantee you're going to get a ton more conversions that way, um, and not spend an extra cent. And it literally only takes a couple more minutes to add these annotations on the ends of your videos. Um, cool. The other thing is, um, when coming in here, um, really make sure that you're keyword optimizing this heavily um, and also with with the uh, with this area make sure your your playlists right learning DVDs behind the scenes make sure you put in keywords in the titles of your playlists and and really like paying attention to um, heavily searched keywords right so favorite videos behind the scenes commercials books you know this sort of stuff doesn't do you any good commercials. People don't typically search for commercials. What they want is like, um, you know, you can put commercials at the end of the title, but really just call your playlist something better. And also use a backlinking, backlinking strategy to build up your um, YouTube uh, channel as well. Cool. Um, but that's enough on YouTube at the moment. I'll, I'm more than happy to go ahead and um, go into the, the lead building strategy with, with YouTube later on. Um, but yeah, I think for you guys, Facebook and YouTube are going to be the two biggest, um, winners. And then, you know, Twitter is just a quick customer service tool and, um, Pinterest as well definitely is, is a massive player because, you know, the majority of, um, people on Pinterest are women with children. Okay. So, um, definitely Pinterest is a massive, massive player for you guys. And you really just have to make sure that you're doing all of this properly. So let's just say uh, Kidspiration. 
Okay, we come in here. Now, for example, we come in here, right? And we look at this do-it-yourself um, cork in a jar. Now, click on there, and where does it take us? Not to your site. It takes us to somewhere else, and, you know, people are going to start spending money on this person's site rather than yours. So, you know, it's great to build a community and stuff, but what I'd suggest is going ahead and editing all of your um, pins. Go ahead and editing it. And so, you know, cute, fun, make sure you hashtag some stuff, and then you can say from uh, scrapbooksetc.com, but then you can link this to your website. Yeah? Um, so you're sending the traffic to you rather than to, to this page. Yeah? Because people are going to be um, repinning these photos um, from you guys, and then, you know, you're, you're losing the traffic. Um, cool. So another thing that you can really be looking at is um, mobile marketing, the PPC, um, and of course SEO. Now with you guys, I'm more than happy to put together an SEO report for you for um, different keywords that I that I rec recommend, um, as well as you know which one are which ones are more valuable and which ones aren't. And then we can also go ahead and talk about your PPC um, and all that sort of stuff. Now just to give you an idea of some uh, custom tabs and things that I've built. Um, actually, just before we go ahead, look, here's one of my e-commerce clients at the moment. Now, their typical sale is only around the $100 mark, and they're only investing about 1500 to 2000 a month with me, um, and they're bringing in $20,000 worth of revenue. Now, this is from SEO, email, and from um, social. So, again, just I just like to show you that, you know, here it is here, 12th of July to the 12th of August. Um, you know recent results and I do get my clients results and I want to make sure that you know you know this up front that we don't waste each other's time um, yeah and so we're all on the same page so some some ideas of um, custom tabs that I've built and competitions and things like that you could say you know win um, $500 worth of learning equipment for your child enter your email today yeah and we could also tie this in with getting mobile numbers as well and then you can go ahead and do mobile advertising and SMS advertising and stuff like that um, but use it sparingly because you know um, SMS's everyone reads them and people quickly get annoyed if you're using them um, poorly but you can also do SMS competitions and polls and all kinds of stuff um, some more tabs that we've designed um, you know give us a thumbs up and we'll give you a free XYZ and the thing is here, you might have a product that costs you like a dollar or something like that, and the postage might be five dollars, and you know, um, so that's six dollars in cost, and you say you only have to pay the postage of seven dollars, and then bam, you're still um, breaking even, and you know, you've got a happy new liker, or someone's trying out your product, and it's all um, happy days. Uh, the other thing you can do is, you know, maybe give them some free apps for the Ultrabook, give them a whole like you know, like us now and we'll give you access, you know, three months access to all of our apps um, for the for the Ultrabook, yeah? So it promotes them, it gets them thinking about, ah, oh, damn, I've got all these apps, I really want to go ahead and buy the book so I can try them out, yeah? Um, cool, one thing you're not going to see with anyone else is some custom software I'm using where basically people click on um, the link, see where it says free organic coffee, they click on the link right inside the newsfeed and it doesn't take them anywhere, it keeps them straight inside Facebook and opens up the little opt-in box where they can literally put in their email or they might have to share the, the post or whatever, um, but yeah, they can literally enter the data right inside the Facebook newsfeed, they're not going to any other pages, they stay right there and they give you their email and it works a treat. Um, some other lead pages that I do, um, so people can come in and add their, their name and email and um, I find that these are very, very high converting and this is all included with my service. Um, I also speak Spanish, hence why this is all in Spanish. Um, but yeah, you know, this is, this is the sort of um, quality of lead, lead and landing pages that I do um, with videos if you want and products and other things like that, you know, so when you're when you were la launching the the ultra pad the leapfrog pad um, you could have had your little ad there and then add your name and email here to be one of the first to get you know the notif notification when uh, or get you know pre-orders or any of that kind of stuff you know be the first to um, be able to try it out yeah make it exclusive for them and you know um, you can write there you know uh, limited to the first 500 
um, happy parents or something like that. Cool. So YouTube marketing, I've already been through a bit of it, but you know, again, you should really be doing some custom thumbnails. I noticed with yours, um, the thumbnails could be a lot better. Uh, let's just take another look. So yeah, here, you know, um, this doesn't make me want to click on any of it. This is all really kind of messy and you know, yuck. So what I'd suggest is you could have this, you know, these three um, little toys over to the left hand side with a blue background and then you could say have text here with, you know, obviously aimed at the parents so they can come in and it's it's got strong calls to actions just like here. So, you know, um, a nice clear background, mesothelioma survival, claim your free book, yeah? And so that sort of thing increases um, click-through rates massively and again here's what I was talking about you know from a of time blah 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 click here to claim your free book now and then an arrow to the link yeah we make it very very straightforward so people can see okay hey um, this is you know this is what I should do I should definitely get my free book um, and for you it could be click here to claim to get your discount on whatever or to get your um, free apps or to click here to shop now it could be as simple as that you know click here to um, see what amazing things we have for your child, yeah? Um, and this is really important. And again, you know, adding captions and doing all the descriptions and making sure it's all SEO optimized and I look, I look after all of that for you. Cool. So, um, another thing, here's what I was talking about at the end, you know, you could have um, custom subscribe screens and custom, um, you know, click-through screens where basically it's like, you could, you could literally have your three books sitting here and say, Click here to buy the Ultrabook. Click here to be to buy the um, the the Pad 2. Click here to buy whatever it is. Yeah, and so each one of these can literally be a clickable link. Sorry, clickable link to your site, and um, you'll see a ton more traffic coming from YouTube. And obviously, um, they'll be targeted, and they would have seen the product. They'll be ready to buy. They click on it, and they go ahead and buy. And that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. Cool. So Pinterest. 80% of Pinterest users are women, and 50% of them have children. So this is massive for you guys, and obviously, you know, you're doing some things right, but you could definitely um, be doing better. And I definitely think if we sp we spend a good focus on on Pinterest, um, you're going to see massive results from that as well. Why? Because people's preference to associate with retailers or brands on Pinterest is 43%, whereas Facebook is only 24, and they're your exact target market: women um, between the age of 24 and 35 so you know this sort of thing is very very important for you um, and we'll, we'll definitely focus on Pinterest as well I definitely suggest that you know with Pinterest um, this is going to be a strong product pusher but whereas uh, Twit sorry Twitter is more of just a customer service platform um, I typically find that Twi Twitter has the lowest conversion rate out of all of the social platforms for my clients and is better to be used as just a customer service you know um, and the, the ad, the odd update, you know, um, because realistically, you know, putting in a ton of time and effort on Twitter doesn't result in massive sales like YouTube and, uh, Facebook and Pinterest. Yeah. Uh, cool. So here's an example of a 12 week plan that I do. Um, we can obviously go ahead and invest in custom, um, custom reporting software if you like but this is the, the stuff that comes stock standard with my services and basically I go ahead post I, I write out all the posts for a month I let you know exactly what's coming up we go ahead and post it and then I track every single post every single day and you can see exactly what's working what's not and we go ahead and uh, work on the, on the things that are working and, and keep going in that direction and I always post value and then promote products in the second week. So it's value, 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 and then promo in the second week, promo in the second week. And this is things like, you know, um, new products, um, just product information, uh, also things like um, just doing competitions and things like that, and polls and blah, blah, blah. But uh, I typically find that if you're selling to them every single day, you're not getting huge engagement. And that's what I see with you is, you know, you constantly... Uh, go ahead and you're constantly going ahead and selling um, to all these people you know like uh, you've got a bit on you know hey here's someone with our product here's someone with our product here's some more stuff on our product it's all just you know our products our products our products our products yeah um, and some of this sure this is a bit different from the from the um, blog side of things but really you should be you know um, adding some just more shareable things 
thinking about the parents and stop selling your products for a bit and literally just uh, doing it every second every second week and I'm sure you're gonna have a strong community in in that regard okay um, so yeah if you want results like this such as 118 percent more likes in six days obviously we're not gonna get you another million likes in six days um, but we can definitely start bringing in some new email addresses and phone numbers and other bits and pieces for them to uh, for them to be marketed to and also organize all your SEO and SEM um, but definitely we need to do a good solid week of research make sure we get everything down pat first and then we can go ahead and start your marketing campaign so here's what you need to do number one like this video number 1.1 click the link below now use the form to email me and watch me grow your business for you be quick be inspired take action i'm already enjoying working with you and all the mums out there thank you so much for your time this is matt i'll talk to you soon